everybody out there, welcome to Hot House Global. Hot House Global is a presentation of the Center for International Performance and Exhibition, Hot House, and we are extraordinarily pleased to be celebrating our 33rd year in the business. Many of you have joined us in our live venues and we are pivoting to creating this streaming platform as a means to honor and celebrate and showcase artists who are currently not performing in live venues due to the health and economic crisis. But it's also a way for us to extend our relationships around the world with curators who are creating original content for the Hot House Global site. So it's an extremely exciting project for us. We see this uh, new medium as a departure from the one guy with the guitar on Facebook. And instead, these are curated events with implicit limitations of distance creativity. In short, it's its own new art form. Hot House has partnered with curators and artists to present an astonishing array of original cultural programming. We invest many hours on the back end, streaming and testing various options and platforms and working alongside the artists to communicate their vision. This alchemy is labor intensive and exciting and we are all breaking new ground together. We are ind indebted to the development team who are investing hundreds of hours of their volunteer time to contribute to the project and give back to the community. We know so many of our colleagues in the cultural sector, in small business, nonprofits, and entertainment with venues, record labels, talent managers, booking agents, and dozen more professions have been decimated economically. 100% of the donations contributed during this performance will be directed to the performers, so we really hope that you will dig deep and donate generously. Please also help us spread the word for these events, contribute financially to Hot House so we can continue to provide this programming free of charge and without a paywall. Please write words of encouragement in the chat boxes and otherwise give your wholehearted support to the sector. You can watch our programs on Twitch TV, Hot House Global, Facebook Live. You can do a watch party. You can also see the encore presentations on the YouTube channel, Hot House Global. Please help me thanking our core team, uh, Edward Wilkerson, veteran Resib Begovich, Jonathan Woods, Dushan Mosley, David uh, Offenberg, Luis John, and um, Bea Cabrera, and my name's Marguerite Horberg. Thank you so much for watching tonight. Hello, everybody. The visitors. The visitors are here, and we're talking about reality reconstruction. Reality reconstruction means a lot because the world has been disassembled by a lot of different things. And we know that that kind of disassembly has caused a lot of people to have tension, problems, health problems, not to mention dying. We plan on doing today 
giving you some music and some entertainment to talk about that whole structure. So we'll begin this journey by going through and letting you know how it all started. And then we'll kind of put you into the mode of relaxation. So we're going to help you solve your solutions. What do you think, Kenny? Hey, man. You said it all. Uh, particularly when we reach for those frequencies that are vital friendly mm -hmm. and, and life sustained. And so that's where we at. Frequencies and rhythms that bring about some excellence, bring about some problem solving tools. So, yeah, um, it'd be interesting uh, because we only talked about this once or twice and we haven't did any rehearsing. And I guess we don't need to do that. I know. No, no, because, because this all comes from within, guys. This yeah. is pure improv, but we've been working with each other for. A lot of years, right? A lot of years, a lot of years. Right. Lot of years. But when well, you say. said it, though, that's that's the organic side of it. Is that it's like purely we reaching from the cosmos and receiving, and that's the essence of any great black music or any other kind of music is being able to communicate right. with the whole. Right. In this case, our first our planet, then our, our, our galaxy, and then. Our, our solar system, then our galaxy, and, and then the universe, and then the multiverses. And that's how far the back this music goes. Well, let's take them through the environments and then move into the substance of what we're trying to present. Sounds good to me. Okay. And you can catch a good with <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
do the one more. <laughs> Reconstruction. So while we're playing, we'd like for the audience to listen to us. And we're going to have a little session at the end of this to ask what you thought of the music, how it made you feel. Because what we're trying to do is try to make you, not make you, but allow you to think and feel. We don't want you just to say, OK, that's cool. It's not a nice melody. Uh, it's got some interesting things in it. But we went through, through quite, a, quite a few pieces of information. Uh, Hendrix, what, can you tell us, what were you thinking about, man? What were you thinking about when you? Uh, much like what you said, um, the offering is the alternative choices, you know, and, and that's what this music really represents is the ability to be as free as you can possibly be, and free in terms of letting your imagination run completely wild you know because the imagination is the gift of life and it's a yeah that's interesting i'll be thinking about trying to keep up with you oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> now the music is really it, it's it, you can really feel it i, I mean i can feel it oh yeah and i can yeah, feel it's it. that energy and it's just a matter of taking what you feel and being able to represent that with the notes yeah now I mean, you have to know the notes. You have to, right. you have to know the music. But increasingly, for me, though, it's been less about knowing the notes or knowing any patterns. As I was telling you earlier, yeah. with me, man, I, I have heaven now. What did I tell you? It was like a memory <laughs> crash. <or> memory <laughs> crash. It's like a memory looking ahead. Yeah. And how you do yeah. with memory looking yeah. ahead. Yeah. Like that's, yeah. that's what it was. You're looking ahead, you know. Yeah, yeah. that's what it's brought me to. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. 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 Look, look, looking ahead. Hey, I, was, I was concerned about, uh, you know, music memory, losing music memory. Wow. But the reality of it is, is that I was kind of told from the inside from, that uh, you're supposed to lose it. Cause there's some new shit out there for you. Yeah, right. right, right it's right. some new, you know. And every time you and I hit, uh, we can reach some of those spaces, which I think is like it's incredibly an incredible blessing. Is what that is, you know. That stuff you can't pay for that. You dig? It's just, and that's the whole key when we approach the music as an art form that was given from the high, mighty, almighty creator, then like we in the right direction, you know? So now you can let your antenna go up and receive what the universe, the cosmos got for us, you know? And uh, I've only begun to be able to talk about this because uh, we, we used to play that way back then yeah. when we were young. We was young. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We, yeah. Yeah, we we kind of didn't really care about what other people thought about uh, what was going on, man. We played what we wanted to play, man. Yeah, yes. in the context of the playing context. that music that we played, the dance music that we worked our way through school, you know, we played a lot of cabarets. <laughs> I'm gonna start talking about that now. They, this is a family channel. <laughs> <laughs> so we want to kind of, you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but there were some interesting times there because there was a lot of people. I remember in Lansing, Michigan, where the guy told us, uh, what he told us to do, uh, when we were playing Song for My Father, and, and he wanted us to play it right away. <laughs> he got up in the middle of the, the club and started screaming, that Song for My Father right away. That's what he wanted yeah. to listen to. Oh, at that time, well, we we were in Flint with uh, Gloria oh, yeah, Bannister yeah, and, yeah. and Roscoe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and Roscoe said, man, Roscoe, don't go out tonight. <laughs> he said, at least, don't tell me when to go out. And then he went out. Right straight. Because that's the only way he knew how to do it. Yeah, and it was beautiful. It, it was beautiful. But them cats in Flint, man, it was like they, that music hit them like in the pocket that they know. Yeah. That breaking ball was trying to come to the stage. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. It, 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 it's, it's kind of strange. It's kind yeah. of strange. But she came from the wings and yeah. sang, put a melody out on them. It's like, wow. 
sued the raging beast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was that, and that was where the music, music. That's what I'm talking about. That's when we knew we had some power. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Reality, reconstruction. That's yeah, right. reconstructing what you've done, and we and using the elements of sound, man. Just, yeah. Man. Thank you. That is. Uh, that's a great statement that you just made, using the elements of sound. I mean, that's the high gift. Mm -hmm. if, and we have to understand that sound has been weaponized on the other side of this, you know? Mm. You use sound to kill. Yeah. You know? Yeah, OK. What's this like? OK. I mean, if you're a fool, you you know. And that's coming to a close, too, very soon. But. But the point that I'm trying to make is that it has that kind of capacity, if you will. You know, it's that big. You know, it's like, and everything vibrates. So, mm. so and that's what sound is, is a vibration. And it's in the, in the spectrum. The sound spectrum and the light spectrum, they are related. Everything is one. Mm. We, uh, we are one with the universe. Right. And the more we play music, like you said, that is um, improvisation. The more improvisation of music that is played, the closer you get to your reality of oneness. And, and for, for some reason, the people that's here today, they don't like, they don't want to be in reality. You know, they don't want, they don't want to be connected. Mm -hmm. And I know the reason is they've been faked out. You know, but that's okay. neither here nor there. The point is, is that everybody that's listening to us and, listen, and hearing any of us needs to please understand that we all are one. And one with the rocks, one with the ocean, one with the trees, one with everything. And the connection is what Dushan said. It's through the music, through sound, mm -hmm. you know, through color, mm -hmm. which is the same thing, mm -hmm. you know. And, and on and on. It's just so happened that we got, you know, we can have another step in remaining happy, if you will, mm -hmm. because we have that knowledge or have the ability to get over in here. You know, you know, if, if you're listening today, really listening, you can write some information in the chat, if, if you would. Uh, you'd like to ask us and we're going to go over some of those questions at the end of this because we know that sometimes the kind of music that we're playing may be a little different than what people are used to hearing although or, you know, we could we could do some shake your mm -hmm. kind of music but yeah. that's not what we're going to do and we've been here before we've been here before. Mm -hmm. you know i i want to i want to hendrix i want to uh, bring a person up uh, the reason why i'm asking this particular person to come up is that of uh, his spirit. His spirit is like, he's got this healing kind of spirit to me. You know, like when you hear him play, he just kind of puts in the, the, the feeling that, uh, that I really like to have, you know. And I'm hoping that what he brings with his uh, instrument, and I don't know really which one he's going to play, but the things that he brings into the music makes it uh, it makes you feel good inside now we are improvisationists and we are also cosmonians <clears throat> cosmonians we we are from this particular planet we're from the cosmos yes. as everybody is big baby yes, yes. so yes, as are. so as cosmonians <laughs> uh we we speak to each other in a different language uh, in the music, because in music, it's speaking without talking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's the best kind of music. Yeah. Best kind of music, because, yeah. because you can get inside of each other with that a lot better. And we can do that when, when we're talking to other people. You know, we really take the time and look at them, look in their eyes, yeah. and kind of really understand them instead of just looking at their physical outside. That's just... Uh, that's just the physical outside. Mm -hmm. But to get on the inside, yeah. you almost got to get into this kind of music. You know, I'm going to see how it Oh, yes, because it it's got healing properties. You know, this, this is the music that there is a frequency for every organ in your body. 
mm, some multiple frequencies for you know so if, if my finger hurts you know mm. there's a frequency that like goes to the, 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 what do they call these fingers so mm -hmm. you know uh, and so on liver stomach head uh, spleen whatever what an advantage we have to be able to have knowledge and understanding how the music can make us do one thing or another. I don't say make, but it's influence. Influence, yeah. Influence. Yeah. yeah, one time I was listening to a John Coltrane composition. Mm. I said, I really feel like praying. Mm. I looked up yeah. the name of the record. The cut was the, the prayer. You know, he that's the impetus that this, the power that the music has. And so, you know, I tried to use it when I was raising my children. and. Uh, my daughter let me know that it did work you know mm -hmm, mm -hmm, i mean because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh still they brought in you know some real strange crazy music man dumb stuff back in the 80s 90s that was really dumb but just yeah, yeah uh, way dumb. different <laughs> 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 i'm gonna kick your ass yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but that's the kind of stuff i mean they yeah, yeah. that's the kind of stuff they understood you know, so. yeah yeah you know i mean <laughs> you know, it, it, that's, that's what I'm saying. Someone else is controlling our music, mm -hmm. you see, and they, they got it going, you don't cuss no woman. Yeah, she yeah, 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 you but that's what they wanted. No. That's what they wanted to exactly. have us do. That's exactly right. So, so we got the counter to that. We got the counter to that, and this music's going to do it. It has to. You know, I mean, we got the key. It's just a matter of, you know. So. Well, look, I'd like to um, invite Eliel Story. That's the person I'm talking about. That's Eliel talking Story, about. wonderful saxophonist. And, well, you, you'll be able to tell. You'll yeah. be able to tell. So let's set up for him. Yeah. Okay, let's set up for him. Eliel.
Thank <laughs> you. 
end with this, I want to kind of end with it, not really, but I do want to say this, is that I don't know what the chat's saying, so um, questions, 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 questions about what we were doing, about we, us playing a little bit more. Uh, uh, we got about two more hours, but we're not going to play that long. But so, so what is what were there some questions on? Let's see. There is a question that asked you to elaborate a little bit more on the idea of the cosmos. What's the history behind the idea? And can you discuss the comparison to other ideas like the rise of nationalism? Um, they're really interested in the way that you were thinking about the cosmos. So can you talk a little bit more about that? Yeah, absolutely. And uh, thank you for such a for thinking question. Yeah, um, as far as we know on this planet, cosmic music took some shape probably about 40,000 years ago. This is according to Manetho, who was an Egyptian high priest, but he was one of the earlier historians, if you will. And so that's when he said, basically, the, the, the uh, not the, what do they call the kingdoms, there's a period Oh, there's a period of time that Egyptologists, you know, place uh, Egypt's um, dying. And, and most people say about 4,500 years ago. My fail said, no, way far back. Anyway, long story short, Egyptians, or the Kometans, if you will, their foreparents were the Dogon people. And the Dogon people had the charts, sky charts, at least. They said, and we'll tell you today because there's still some alive, that they came from Sirius B. And Sirius B, you know, they, and they point to it. And they, you know, these guys live in huts and got goats and stuff. But they will show you, they know, it's got this in their DNA. They know where they're from. Okay, so having said all of that. That's the connection with the music coming here to this planet. Um, and now that it is here, we have to like acknowledge its worth because it's a great gift, a high gift. And and everybody don't get it because it's like Dushan started the program. It's a reality reconstruction. Our reality has been shaped from a Eurocentric perspective. And that would be okay if it wasn't so fucked up. And I use words like that, but it is because they're reaching for the wrong things, which you dig. I mean, that's 
before you become enlightened, you will keep reaching for the wrong things, you know. Mm -hmm. But but um, in our case, we have all been influenced by with this uh, what is it? It's a system of lack, as opposed to a system of of plenty. Plenty. Yeah, yeah. Right. And, yeah. and that's what our universe supplies. Yeah. But you got to connect up. And people, if you don't want to connect, that's on you, you know. But but yeah, that music came came around that time. Or at least that's the time they give it. But but the point is, <clears throat> what came with it was the arts that, like we said, heal and give you uh, a uh, well-being, you know, and and anything else you can think of. You want to get girls, you want to get boys, play the music. <laughs> If you want all A's, play the music, you know, whatever. You want a million dollars, play the music. I ain't got no million because that's not my objective, but I, I'll take it if somebody want to. <laughs> Donate it to money. the fund. That's an that's yeah, edge yeah. Yeah, we'll take some of that. PayPal. <laughs> <laughs> we take donations. Well, so I hope I didn't go too far off script. <laughs> um, um, did, did you... Is there something in that question that I didn't deal with? I didn't answer it. Well, well, one of the things you just mentioned a moment ago is making the donation to PayPal. Yes. What is the PayPal yeah. address if someone would like to donate that million dollars uh, to they, you? <laughs> they, they, they could do that at E-D-U-T-E-A-C-H, Inc. PayPal. PayPal, E-D-U-T-E-A-C-H, Inc. And you could probably put that in the chat. That is a good idea. Cool. So, and that is again E D U T E A C H Inc. I N C. That's at the it, PayPal goes first. P okay. PayPal slash Edutech. There we go. All right. So I want to talk about Kenny wrote a book a few years ago, and I'm really loving this book. This book is the Cosmic Music Community. Yes. This is a fantastic book. So Kenny, can you tell, tell us a little bit about this book? You've got all the cats' name in here, I noticed in the back, so. Uh, yeah. But, you, but, but other than that though, what is this really book is really about though? Yeah. Yeah, the, uh, I'm glad you said all the cats ain't in there. Well, and, well we're not here, on, we're not some more cats that need that. They need, need to be in this yeah. book. But uh, the premise of the book is basically to uh, to give, well, I'll give you the story. It goes like this, and I'll make it quick. Uh, Roscoe Mitchell came to town, this west of Detroit, and played a gig. And when he walked in, we had hung out that afternoon, but when, when, he, picked, when he got in there and we came to back into the room, it was like filled with real apprehension and, and fear. And, and hate, a little bit of hate too, a lot, you know, it, it was thick. Roscoe picked up the uh, the soprano from his arsenal horns and, and he knocked down something and like, when it was over, everybody was happy, you know, mm -hmm. it was so content and so elated and so relaxed, you know, and happy to be alive. So, so I said, what did Roscoe do? Well, Roscoe did what Roscoe does and the black community does. The, the part of it that bugged me though, was that this music came from the likes of Roscoe and his parents and their parents and all the way back, we talked about going back to Kim. Mm -hmm. But our community is so underrepresented at, at each one of these concerts. Mm -hmm. And I'm speaking of the concerts of what we call great black music, cosmic music, avant-garde, some people call it, but it's really life music. And, life music. and when we play it like that, then you know, we enhance our living. So so yeah, that that's basically what the book is about, you know, and I I uh I have a little trouble sometimes remembering because that means it's time to do something else, you know. It's and time to make a new book. Yeah, exactly. that's, that's what it's time to do. It's time to go ahead and bring a new book. Yeah. But, Maybe. I'm suggesting that people pick up this book if they can, and they can get this book from where? From uh, Amazon, yeah, and I think they got some copies at the uh, Detroit okay. uh, 
uh, Museum of African American History in Detroit. Okay. 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 And can you say who the author is again? Kenneth L. Green. Yeah. <laughs> Ken yeah, my, wonderful book and, and his second book will be out soon because we're going to get on to get a <laughs> second book out we're going to add mm-hmm. yeah. yeah that book was cool because you know it, it allowed me to figure out that I could receive messages and receive uh, word and receive vibration sound you know if I would get myself out the way you know I've noticed that one of the things that was underlined in this book by a real good friend of mine, Cassandra Lee, she she underlined this, knowing where to find relief is a major step in solution of any problem. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you know, knowing, knowing. That's what people do when they buy tickets. They know that they can get, you know, some people are wise enough to, to know what the music can do for them. You know, mm-hmm. other people just, you know, you shake your booty is, is good enough, but it goes way beyond that. It know? goes way beyond the music wasn't necessarily for that. People did that, but that was like a way of expressing. Yeah. A way of yeah. expressing with the music. Some people picked up sticks, some people hit on the ground, some people yeah. dance. Yes, indeed. Mm-hmm. You know, speaking of picking up sticks, so. You and L.E.L., man, y'all picked it up. <laughs> I, 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 I love the brother. Yes, yeah. indeed. We, we are at L.E.L.'s place. This is a place that uh, people should look at doing performances in and doing live uh, performances like this in because it's a wonderful place. The feeling of it is it's calm and easy. And yes, it's on the south side, but it's on the good side of town. Yes. And I think that when you get a chance, look for Transitions East. It's a wonderful place to record, be recorded. NBC. Hmm. People are asking, what's the name of the band again? Visitors. It's an iteration of the visitors, yeah. The iteration yeah. of the, the visitors. We, we, we change the size. Right. So the visitors, and it includes Kenneth Green and Deshaun Mosley. With special guests tonight? L.E.L. Story. It's a good story. It's a good story. story. (laughs) I want to make a shout out to Hot House Live, Hot House Global, because they are really trying to do the kind of thing. They're really trying to do the kind of thing that a lot of live platforms are trying to do. They're trying to put music out all over the world, not just in Chicago, all over the world, and making it affordable for people who don't have a lot of money to go ahead and listen to this music. Because this would cost you some money if you were to go to a club to listen to. So that's why we asked for a donation from the musicians. We are in the pandemic relief also. Mm-hmm. And the deal is, is that some people who can't afford to go ahead and pay will get to watch this. And this will be on their channel for a while. So please, please stay tuned. Uh, our the, the, the next artist that's coming up really, really, really soon is a fantastic percussionist also. And this one, you you really don't you really don't want to miss. So, I suggest you stay tuned to Hot House Live, Hot House Global. They are doing the job that many others don't do. We have artists from all over the place. Kenny's from Detroit. We have artists from Cuba. We had artists down in New Orleans. You know, we have artists all over the world coming into this and trying to make this channel the channel that is for everybody. It's not just for a few people. So mm-hmm. please stay tuned to Hot House Global Live. Yeah, I can appreciate Hot House. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's good. Any more questions? Yeah. I'm not seeing any more, any more questions any come questions in, but in? people have loved what you've done. There Thank were you. lots of love showed to you on Facebook tonight. Good. And you had some great comments that came in, such as love the WWF and drums. <laughs> <laughs> love the yeah. meditative stuff and yes. how it brings a smile to the person's face. And it's oh, like right. thunder, like stuff coming in from the bottom. Yeah, so everyone good. has appreciated again. That's and good. you guys oh. are? The visitors, Kenneth Green, Dushan Mosley, which guest star Elio. Which Sorry. instruments? Which instruments? <laughs> All of them. <laughs> <laughs> All of them. All of them. <laughs> Percussion <laughs> and keyboard instruments. We 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 and we only this is just half our arsenal. So the next time we see us, we'll have a lot more instruments up there on the stage if we like. Great. Okay. Yeah.
All right. Anyway. Have a nice day. And we want to take you back to Hot House Global, and we're going to sign off. Have a nice day, and we'll see you <laughs> oh, again. Gee, he, he, Thank oh, you. You really went for it, didn't you? I did. I did, <laughs> I did go for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why, why you didn't turn to quite... quite.